Hey everyone, welcome. My god, an afternoon on Tuesday? What is the world coming to? But yeah, I am no stream uh, tonight. Which is why we've got the afternoon going on. Ah, oh, brilliant. <clears throat> I get to try and uh, infiltrate the Brotherhood. That'll be fun. I'm getting this loaded in first. Because it's like to mute this. There we go. I'm trying to think of what else. I'm kind of liking the. I, I guess the progress in Fallout 4. It's. It's nice having different characters with me in Fallout 4. <clears throat> hmm. I should we get to go right now? What were we? What were we doing? Why am I here? What was I doing? A little hot? A little hot. Oh! We had just woke up and had left and or killed someone and le then left. Not you're on my quest log. Into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. You know, let's see what I can do with level up. Fuck it, let's go health. Three perks to increase. Oh wow. Can I do? Blocking? Deflect arrows. Mm. Oh, no, I do weapons. Fuck it. Go that one. I honestly don't know if I want to put my sneak up to something else or not. Like, make it legendary. I'm going to start getting more levels. <clears throat> I'm going to need to do some of this, maybe. Oh, light armor. Need eighty? Shit. <clears throat> Summon regenerates fifty percent faster. Deft movement. I'm never gonna have a matching set. Screw it, we'll go Wind Walker. Hey, welcome, Rico. So, do we need to go near Falkreath for this? Are we down south? Place that I've not visited at all. Oh, this might be my chance to go to Falkreath. Clear Pine Watch, Ancestral Glade. Pine Watch. If I go here, I might be able to walk around. Could maybe access from this side as well if I went back to the stones. But this way I can get Falkreath. 
began fast travel with enemies? What enemies? Bet it's a mud crab. Bet it's a mud crab. I'm, I was just about to press um, to try and get fast. It's like I'm not playing Fallout. Because the games are you know, kind of similar in some regards. Um, but nearly every button is different. Okay, maybe not nearly every button. Can I go now? Oh, we're up here! And then shacks. Is anything nearby here? Been there, or the forts. Been there, the other. I think the forts have been added because of you sometimes get the maps you can access. Old Mary Dominion Spy Balloon, where? Well, it's the second fucking moon that's upstairs. Uh, upstairs. I mean, technically upstairs if there were stairs to it. I do, Miracle. Ah, uh, I've got the Brotherhood, but there's so many things in the area. If I focus on quests, I kind of neglect to explore. Isn't the best. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's No there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Oh. She asked me to Did, hand out wait, why? To huh? everyone I met. You suddenly Looks found like me in the middle of nowhere. Go. You got to go have have you got a GPS tracker on me? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. As soon as he started saying that, I was like, oh no, who's died? Orphanage. Uh, by my hand. It's dedication, yeah. Wait, what did you give me? Con consider adoption? Fuck off. <clears throat> wanted a good home I'm actually going to have to throw one of the trophies I'll be like the very last one and then I can never save it um. <laughs> I just don't want to like in a game I don't want that so I need to give this career a, a, yeah, a raise in these days of war and strife the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims many I have no one left to turn to and a face of life, uh, and face a life of hard labour, poverty, and misery. It's only right here in some bear infested swamp and there's just nowhere and he doesn't even ask for a tip. Mm. If you could provide a stable home for one of his innocent children, like fuck they're innocent. You, oh, was one not oh innocent children? One of them wanted the Dark Brotherhood. How's that for innocence? Can uh, please consider adoption. Or do you choose to adopt from us or taking someone closer to home you can make a difference in a child's life more information inquire with constance uh we're going michelle or or michelle hey or a hall orphanage riften of course it's in riften isn't it what's, what's the second page about why why are you giving me a second page as long as brace isn't one of them they're probably innocent enough Whoever it is, she'll hate them. She'll hate them forever. Is that not because the, like someone died and left her parentless? How is that my fault? Blame your mother for that. She went out when there was vampires or a dragon. <clears throat> I 
It's your mother's fault for not caring about you. Uh, I mean, well performed on satanic death ritual at least once in our youth. <laughs> oh, stuck, stuck. He's just. How did you find me? Like, I know in the game, you know, you know but in terms of. I'm. I'm. Where at the back and beyond? I'm here! He's like, nope, nothing. Nope, sorry, nothing. Oh shit! Wait, what? Um, are you normally over here? Yeah, I don't think I've seen one of those outside the caves before. <laughs> Where's here? Who knows? Finland by the looks of it. I just wanted to explore a little bit because I haven't done that for a while. Some stones in the middle of nowhere. pulling these fucking stones all the way is it here there's just what the closest place might be solitude over there how you get runes <laughs> i keep wanting to use bats oh what was wrong with me The courier, yeah. Well, yeah, the courier single-handedly built all of these. You're still here. Hey, Apple. Where we're dropping, we're dropping in the Highgate ruins. My, my two spellcasters. I still don't know how I've got two. Toilet Town. Is that... Your your code speak for somewhere that looks like Finland. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the years in Fortnite called. <laughs> Delight Towers. Mm. And for someone who doesn't play Fortnite, is it because they're actually tilted or because they expect people to get tilted? Sorry, Antiga. Miss Luthien the Upright. She isn't. It wasn't me. It was just Argo. I'm. I'm carrying a sword. Yeah, you look strong. Assassinate. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Anska. Are you here to help? Help with what? I've finally located Vulcan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. What kind of help do you need? If Vulcan is as powerful as I think, I'm <laughs> <to help> <laughs> Why Vulcan? 
Hey, what's in it for me? You can have anything except the scroll, of course. Hmm. I'll help. Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. A scroll for Anska. Did you kill these dudes? Mm, pretty handy, aren't you? <gasps> I have three people! Montourage is growing. Oh, she's gonna detect me everywhere. I kind of- alright, I'm gonna do something. And this might not be a good thing. Bare skin bikini is an interesting choice given the climate. <laughs> the sexiness over- yeah. Overall. Some trousers on. He's going with the. So with the hairstyle, nothing about her says to me and she she goes like fighting. Where's your weapons? Or you just <laughs> you just try and charm them with some other weapons, um, and disarm them. Uh. Right, what I was saying. I kind of want to make my sneak legendary so I can start negating more because I've done it with lock picking and I'm up to 21. <clears throat> Other things are taking a bit too long to increase, but sneak is something I will almost always be able to get back up again. Weapons when you got guns like those. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. What would I lose? Harder to detect. Backstabbing. Oh, the sneak attack with bows. That's really the only thing because I am not an assassin. I can't get up to anyone with my followers. I mean, it would mean I, I could lose the followers, but... But I don't want to lose my followers. I've only got level 1. Oh, shit, wrong thing. Of true shot, true shot with your axe. I have no idea who's who. out a Glock from the fur bikini top. Oh my god, am I stuck? Who's- It's you, Anska! Gotta ruin my sneak. Oh, jeez, Anska, go away. Uh, speed guns, you fired up AC Odyssey again. Guys, I guess just hate my free time and I never quite registered how, just how insane the dialogue is in that game. It's written by Reddit or something. What, AC Odyssey? I am. Um... I mean, I, I, I can't remember, but it, it was fucking better than Valhalla anyway. Mm. 
for me. Are we trapped? Is this trapped? Why does this look like it'd be trapped? A little cavern, you're gonna collapse, you're gonna kinda get it from a distance. Uh, this quest took 10 minutes, here's how it goes. <laughs> This isn't the one with the dude who's who's falls into the water. And something about balls. No. Uh you meet a hero guy and it doesn't look like something random character generator shout out, so you know he's romanceable. <laughs> huh? A healer guy. Oh god, yeah, you could romance pretty much everyone, couldn't you? I forgot about that. Tell the child to yell at the pain, make it go away. They clearly went to medical school. <laughs> That's what you do with kids, isn't it? It's like, it's like fake, you give- oh why does I just search that again? You give them the plaster even though it's going to do fuck all. Looks like it'll open. Mm. It's like, yo I need plants, they're literally 100 feet away but there's some wolves so as well, please. I want this version of Assassin's Creed. Are, are we snuffling? I thought there were two of them. And uh, <laughs> you get the option of saying piss off or seductively ask, will I have to show it you too? I want to play it again though. No. Oh no. Oh maybe, maybe I would for the DLC. <clears throat> Just to see some of this. I've forgotten. I think it did try and romance everyone, so I must have went down the shouting up route. I think our, our <laughs> Cassandra was a bit of a, a bit of a hoe. <laughs> like everyone. The game was genuinely like that, you'd love to play it. Uh, you then pick some flowers and deliver medicine to local townsfolk. I'll tell you how swell I do I do the doctor is. I would be interested in the, the DLC because it's got first uh, civilization stuff. Is it not? I don't have much point. He divulges a plot where he uh, plans to murder his mother for lying during her time as the Oracle. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't romance him. Why is there. Why have we got bolts? one of you guys is going to trip this off? Uh, probably heard the doctor yelling at the agony of every single child. I've um, been single every night. Trying to wingman him as a collective view. <laughs> Like, dude, he's telling children to scream at their sore bits. He needs to get laid. Oh! 
hi. Oh, boy. Jeez. Oh, who are you? I'm gonna shoot you in the dick. No, I'm not. I'm shooting something. I don't know what I'm shooting. <clears throat> Is Anska dead? Anska? You can. <laughs> you can lose a life pool. Anska? I didn't kill Anska, did I? Anska? Anska? Oh, she's still. Oh, wait, did you fuck off behind me? <clears throat> Turns out some bandits kidnapped her. She thinks, oh wow, that's good timing. Now you can go back to yelling at each other instead of committing matricide. What intrigues you? But no, apparently it's real important that he kills her. Also, we figure out she was probably the oracle who told her dad to throw us off the cliff as a child, so now we want to murder her too. Oh! Yeah. Have I got this, this quest selected? A scroll. That is mine, so is that. Huh? Where'd you hide at? Let me see. You don't need to. You just sit back and let me loot the place in peace. Need something? Anska, really? Wine? Don't need wine. I was two minutes away from chilling in a wood box, you pop over and free her and then you can choose the outcome. So I went with the hippie option because like she was coerced by the cult and we're gonna kill her family and like what's the point of cutting down a grandma? Gonna be some bad karma associated with that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I could forgive someone who then told a family member to like throw me off a cliff. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Anska, huh? I do not try and be one with me. Yeah. Uh, and then the doctor is like, yeah man, thanks for doing that. I really didn't want to murder my brother in the end. I need you to share bed with me. <laughs> we bang, okay? And then we did. <laughs> does I I can't remember, like, does it still go ahead if you don't uh, if you do kill the mother? <laughs> Post mum murder love making. Is that a No it's not. We've got a, a whale type looking entity. Huh? We're gonna eagle eagle whale snake.
Need something? This looks like some sort of lever puzzle. We'll have to figure out the correct order to flip them. You're the snake. You're a, wait, a fox? <gasps> the f fuck? Where's our two hiding? Oh! There's one missing. Is up here. <coughs> I mean, no one who fucking not really hinged all their interactions are probably. Mm. I should put. I did really enjoy Odyssey. It was possibly one of the. Oh, maybe not one of the buggiest. No, it was pretty buggy. Surprisingly, Origins for being the first open world one, like the big one, wasn't. I hardly had any bugs or origins. Odyssey was the um, the mangled corpse he's stretching into infinity and making my game want to shit itself little by little. With the um, teleporting tamed animals that also increased the perks. Oh, was that Odyssey you could tame them? PC version of Odyssey is probably the most- Oh, the most stable Assassin's Creed game ever! <clears throat> no, it's- it's- I think a lot of them have been had issues. Me. I'm not sure if I've had an Assassin's Creed game that hasn't had anything major. Um... I get runes, catacombs. Don't even know why I'm in here. That gem looks suspicious to me. You look suspicious to me. Oh, and Varius got like a year or two after release. He did not know what the launch was like. What gem? Huh? That gem? Is that even a gem? Oh, it's a fucking candle? I think having her with us is not helping my um, sneak increase in the slightest. Halfway, I guess. <clears throat> that gem looks suspicious. I still haven't found it. So what's the, been the buggiest Assassin's Creed game? In terms of enjoyment, I did quite like Odyssey. <clears throat> huh? Be careful. Someone do something. Oh! 
Oh, oh no, it's it just... Uh... Jeez. So Jizargo was trying to... I have a death wish there. Watch it. What's that so fucking close to me then? Uh, overall, in your personal, in your personal experience. Oh, you haven't played AC since AC three. Um, often your ones, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I liked Odyssey for the world, the main story. Eh. Origins main story was also. Eh because it had fuck all to do with anything that you, you'd had before. And it really fucking bugged me that they didn't have much of the um, Isu stuff in it. I was so, so disappointed. Somebody help. That's the last of them. Anska. Just... Did somebody help? That's the last of them. Link, you've done the work. But three, I did enjoy, enjoy three. I think I first played three. Like, I... I skipped three for some reason. I don't know why. When it initially came out, I had no interest in it whatsoever. And I went to what, Black Flag after that? Um... I think people didn't really like 3 and I'm like it, it was actually good it was better than Black Flag for me Oh, AC2 gets a bit in the happy modern hardware is probably the one you've seen the most weirdness with. I've got good memories of, of most of the two. I kind of, I loved the at the time the um the videos they released. The promotional stuff with like the music that they picked with it and it was so good. Is it Serrano? She's standing there. Oh, there's gold! Wait, why what? have you left a trail of gold? I mean, I'll pick it up. Are you trying to lead me to the... Oh, game. Oh, game. What the hell? You just painted it on the floor? This is fun. <laughs> What's the trap here? There's a reason why I'm taking all the gold. Even the teeny tiny bits, right? I am... Two and a half grand away from the trophy. Da, 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 da. Are you kind of lose interest a bit after the Ezio storyline? So I liked... I do like them as their own like separate entities. Yes. 
and I, I kind of don't mind Black Flag in that in the whole Abstergo is taken over and you're just getting snippets throughout history. Kind of connected, but it's not like living one full lifetime. Um, you're kind of seeing jumping generations. It's just Origins fucking ruins the the modern bit. And I I feel like they might be trying to bring that back with the whole stuff with um, what happened to Valhalla. It's just the main game itself was lacking for me. But I also get quite a bit of fatigue with the um, the overworld. But to understand some of it, you need to have some of these... God, it was like the animus glitches and you're hearing... You were hearing, like, memories, I guess? So you kind of needed to go and explore to get a, a full picture? It wasn't, it wasn't, I don't, I don't know. Was this the gem she meant? Uh, Black Flag, we're going in a totally different direction over what's setting. Like, that was a weird direction to go in at the same time from worldly style with the boat stuff. Real cool. That suffered from too much loot all over the place and fuck all reason to go there. Um, excuse me. Why does that one not get hit you eventually? I quite like Drogue. Different perspective. You did visit some locations from Black Flag. Led into Unity. Well, I say led in. It, it, it did connect to Unity. Even though it wasn't the, the same family line. There was a, a connection between them. Um. Because Rogue, I don't think it was as long. It was a bit more condensed in terms of... You didn't have as many places to explore. Which was really nice, considering how much was in Black Flag. Uh, what do you say stuff? Me, try to get over to many games. Can't really bother to keep track of world games back then. So you, know, was, like, you can tell people hadn't totally figured out how they're supposed to work yet. But it was it was nice having a, a different kind of thing dealt with. Like three was a big thing for the Isu stuff. Because that was the that was where you you the reason for what was happening in Abstergo. Because you didn't have a certain person. Because of what happened in Although, I like the tie-in with um, Valhalla. The best part of Valhalla was like the last half hour to an hour. Because you had Leila meeting someone from earlier in the games. And it's got a lot of things, there's just aren't a lot of little reason to do the things. Oh yeah, the open world aspect, it's, it's I kind of... I'll go after all the things because I know there's going to be something. There'll be something that, that gives some snippets of information or whatever. It's not always the biggest, but it's... <sighs> 
might be something that, you know, ties something else together. I have Valhalla in the world story, or just not say combined. I'd like maybe four minutes between them with interesting meta narrative. Yeah, but the overworld story was like absolutely shit. For most of it. I kinda miss it being Templars versus Assassins. And not assassin adjacent because you've met some assassins. Like, I can safely say, for Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, none of them were assassins. Origins was a revenge story based on what happened to, right at the very beginning of the game, which was his kid getting killed. Odyssey was a revenge story. <laughs> Uh, wait till Lennox speak to a 100 year old. Cool, why though? DLC? Because uh, they went and I think Atlantis was the DLC for them. But it was to do with the spear, which connected to that stuff, wasn't it? Although, why? Why was Cassandra in like a suit, tuxedo type thing? <laughs> Player in the game. Um, Valhalla. <sighs> I'm not even sure what the fuck Valhalla was really about. There was there was some interesting things. Uh, all Avenger family thing and Odyssey never worked. It. I mean, it didn't never worked in fucking Origins for me either. Like he lost his wife because of this. He was the most stony-faced bugger in the world as a character, Bayek. No emotion, I think, purely because of what happened. And I can I get that, but come on. The DLC for that one was the hidden ones, which I think was like the the like precursor type thing, the assassins, or again assassin adjacent. Uh, the cutscenes are engaging though, but the scene to try to make RPG elements and mesh with it just falls apart immediately. I think... Ooh! Who's... Who's sta- mm. Just Argo. Big awkward family picnic scene at the end. It's just a massive what the fuck. Oh god, yeah, I ended up- it's different endings, isn't it? Different endings based on who you managed to get back. I think I missed on one front, which was the father. Because you can't always say that. I, I don't know if there's like, if you need to try and persuade them or something. It's just, no, didn't happen. Yeah, there's there's a few things I'm like, mm. You're alright, game. I think I just had the, the most fun with with Odyssey. I hope we're getting close. I also hate you, sir, so you'd probably have been happier if you didn't spend the last hundred hours dragging them all back home.
much is Argo and Serana doing? Nothing by the looks of it. this one aha oh we're getting there eventually oh oh you're gearing me up for something extra magica oh more magica i always want to explore and come satisfying the infinite progressive gear system is simple effective we can use things to always work towards and at least compared to okay so Origins. Here, here's my issue with when it came to Origins. So Origins was great. Until they added DLC stuff. And I think there was community stuff. Um, events that took place. Which were big, you know, based on uh, Egyptian gods. Um, and I'm sure because the DLC added... Um, a level cap... So you were kept in the base game and they extended it with the DLC. The community events were shit to take part in because you, if you didn't have the um, unless there was something I'm missing, this is this is how I think it happened. Um, if you didn't have the extended level cap. You were always lower level than what you could deal with the community events and these these things these entities that you were fighting. I have no idea if you, there was a workaround for that. Um, so that was one of the crap things about at least fighting and having extra things to fight. Odyssey, the extra fights, like so the the yeah, the Minotaur and the yeah, I can't remember what the hell the other thing was. Um, they were great as extra content. But in Valhalla. <sighs> the legendary creatures were just kind of shit. It was more annoying than anything else. I mean, you had legendary creatures in, in Odyssey. Um, and it, it was kind of fun. I liked going and finding them and then being like, well, I can change what's on my equipment to increase damage against X, Y, and Z. Uh, Big one was in Medusa. Mm. Yeah. And those were fun. But Val Valhalla just kind of took that away and it was rubbish. Be careful. Everyone's fine for her. Cool. I got a problem with Jazargo being in my party and I can kill him accidentally when he moves. But yeah, the Cyclops too. And it was like the labyrinth to get to certain this is fun. certain creatures in, in Odyssey as well. Uh, pick up a drone and then ACB and they make it that. Well, I think, is it, when's um, Mirage coming out? Was it not supposed to be at the start of this year? The ping ponging between different degrees of narrative driven local design. And I think that was supposed to take it back a bit more to what the earlier Assassin's Creed had been like. Which I'd be all for. Vulcan. 
Ooh. Heavy armor? Conjuration, illusion, alteration spells cast. It costs 20% less magicka cast. Never gonna use that. Cool. Oh, we've got another thing here. Sneak, sneak. I can't see the rest. God, I might be making that up. When the fuck is Mirage supposed to come out? All the snakes? Three snakes. Can I change these snakes? Is there anything hiding here? Thought they might burst open. Um, we're supposed to be set, anyone? Um, well, I know it's um, Bassam was a was Bassam. So it, is, it should be assassins, actual assassins. Mm. Yeah, let's see. I, yeah, it's the thing. They, they mentioned it, and I've never seen anything else about it again. Mirage. Uh, da, da, da. Release date. 2023. That's it. Follows younger Bassum. Uh, evolving from a street thief to apparently the most versatile assassin in franchise history. Oh! So it's not the brother or. Uh, I'm not sure if they're calling themselves assassins, like, you know, the Ezio style. They're joining the hidden ones, so it's going to be after, somewhere after Origins. Uh, it'll take the series back to its more character-driven roots. It's not going to be open worlds at all. This is probably even the the take around fifteen to twenty hours. So yeah, you're probably going back to the likes of length of um Syndicate. Dishonor two copy. Oh I've got I got Dishonor two in like two places now. <laughs> yeah, 2023, but I have no idea when. Because if you join in the hidden ones, they were um, brought in with the DLC for Origins. I'll take it. And just get uh, out of the way. Oh, for this first. What are you going to get me to do? What you got? Word to power learn. Storm, storm call. C 
sealed scroll. Why didn't you just pick it up? Get away from me. This is fun. <laughs> oh, lady, make up your mind. <clears throat> Retrieve the scroll. I cannot thank you enough for all of the help. Here is the scroll. And here's a little something for helping me out. Conjuring flame familiar. Why didn't you conjure it yourself when we were fighting? Would you like you having trouble walking up these stairs? Uh, can't really do a whole lot between Origins of Alhalla because a bit of a void so far as social, solid history is concerned. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you could you could essentially uh, they've made up cults, I guess. So you've got um. So in Origins, this is where I think they, they thought, like, this was going to be the start of it, but it's really strange because the timeline, when's Odyssey set? How's the timeline for this work? Um, Odyssey was before Origins. I don't, I think, was it the Cult of Cosmos? That was what it was, in Odyssey. So you were up against the cult. So you can, you can make up any fucking cult you want. You can make up any, you know, enemy in the shadows that you're gonna have to try and take out who are doing underhand things and um, whatnot. So Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 400 years in any other mainline game. Uh... Yeah, it's set before the formation of Assassins and Templars, but you've got the Peace of Eden, which is the Spear of Leonidas. When your was on fire, from your straight from the crusades and all that, between Rome falling apart and Christmas feeling, uh, <laughs> Christmas Christians feeling high and mighty, the main development of human society was a fancy new torture method being invented uh, once every half century. And you got origins. And that was when it introduced the hidden ones, which is the first incarnation. Of the assassins. Mirage is so Origins was forty nine to forty four BC. Mirage is eight hundred and sixty one. It's gonna be in ninth century Baghdad. Although it's not, it won't prominently feature the present day storyline in Mirage, which is kind of shit anyway. So it's just before Valhalla. So 861, don't know when it goes to. And uh, Valhalla is 872 to 878. Because it's Bassam, isn't it? But it was only, it's only just before Valhalla.
I want to see how the actual, like, the creed gets properly brought in. How we go from the hidden ones to... The Assassin Templar. Going back and forth. I haven't really had that, have we? I had hoped what they would have done to finish it all off, like the final game would be a modern Assassins versus Templars and then put it all to fucking rest. <clears throat> but I think they'll, they'll just keep going as long as they can, won't they? I was like, yeah, for that. Was there anything else in here? She went up those stairs. I want to go up these stairs. There's doors there. We've got. Oh, this was a way out. Or a way in, rather. Huh. How the fuck do I get around there? Oh, chest. Nice. Didn't even see ya. Yeah, I don't- I don't know where they'd want to take. Assassin's Creed. I kind of feel like you need to have... the... Modern day, the Isu stuff. Because all, all of this is based on like trying to keep the fucking artifacts the way you need to have the hit, like the, the. the Isu stuff there. Uh, basically, the Templars came out because a bunch of rich people started um, hanging out and came up with the idea of working together to stay rich, and the assassins happened because our rich people didn't get invited, and so a blood feud started. And this is a thousand or so years of that. Yeah, but with the whole thing, with the whole, the, the catalyst for most of these things is you have these ancient artifacts, pre-human, well maybe not pre-human, you've seen in like, you know, the second game with the whole Adam and Eve thing, your flashbacks and the video with the puzzles that you've done. Um, space aliens lived on Earth a million years ago and they had magic, so that's the thing. But the whole thing is the power struggle between the assassins who want to stop these people from doing bad shit with these bad artifacts. Even though Cassandra was using an artifact, and I can't remember, did the Cult of Cosmos have any artifacts? You were trying to make sure they didn't get the Apples of Eden. Um, and you had like the weird... SEO was he speaking to like modern day at one point? But yeah, I kind of... feel like if you don't have the whole, you know, Apple's Eden, current podcast, yeah, you, you've just got a fucking generic assassin game. You need to have that to me. That's, that makes it different from like, oh, I don't know that. I'm, I'm trying to think of assassin games. I don't know. Games need to be sneaky. Fucking thief. Whatever. You need that um, thing that connects them. Did I just jump in here? I 
vergessen? Ich finde es echt schon. At least that's my feeling on the anime. Where's my accent? Yeah, recording the podcast. I like that though. I like the, doing the little puzzles um, across Assassin's Creed's tune and whatnot. And just having Sean, Rebecca, and that seeing things. Where do you want me to go? Oh, there's an exit there? Oh, I never went that way, did I? Ah, uh, a generic sneaky stabby game if it wants, as long as it's well, if it's cool, they can write an engaging grand design space alien conspiracy theory, but it's only the, those two writers left or dry didn't bother and just stick to dumb fun. Let's get indoors or in a cave. No, oh, I just I I kinda to me the whole purpose was with these assassins. Whether it's the hidden ones or whatnot. They were trying to stop people from using these pieces. If you want a sneaky game, don't call it Assassin's Creed. The whole thing was they were they were trying to stop them, were they not? Um, even if they didn't necessarily know of it, that was what usually happened. Someone was corrupt in some way because of this ancient relic. That's what that's what it felt like. Uh, so if they want to make an Assassin's game, go for it, but don't call it Assassin's Creed. It's like having a Star Ocean game and never going to fucking space. <laughs> Actually, my map. So we did clear it. And basically, the last one. We did go to space, though. We went to different planets. We went to the. Not Ian 2, that's from the other one. We went to the the Morpheus nope, that's the last hope as well. Um Oh, what were they called? The ones the ones who were like, we're gonna we're gonna turn people into the Borg, but willingly. We went to their planet, we went to Raymond's planet, we went to the ship that was dealing with it. Um the Oh the Scor Scorpion yeah. Yeah, it's basically like Scorpion. Um, but flip side, we would have had more space time had we been Raymond because the story split at some point and we were down on the planet while he was up in space. So there, there were occasions where we didn't get to go into space. <sighs> Yes, as Leticia it did. Um, but also because I was fucking around doing quests and trying to get private actions. Any subsequent playthrough that I would ever do. If I was going through Raymond's, I wouldn't have to do like the, the private actions, I don't think. Um, I would go through it and get to a point where I'd find out where the... where it locks in your ending, I would save it there and get someone who can make the potions and then end it and get all the endings for it without having to run around and try and get the private actions. I spent so much time just teleporting back and forth thinking that I was working up like um, the previous Star Ocean games. Like you had an affinity bar with every single person that when you reached that you got an ending for them. No, we just get one main ending. 
Um, so what I was doing was a complete waste of time. It, it's not that the game lied to me, it's just I didn't realise they learned differently. And I wasn't one for really looking up what I could or couldn't get. Not for that game. Oh shit, hi. Bandit thug. Oh, you went flying. With Necromancer. Da, 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 Simpson. Uh, and I can't not. <laughs> That's the thing, we do go into space in, in every Star Ocean game. The first one, I and mean, we travel through time, we go to the other planet, we do go in our planet in the end as well. The second one, we do go in our planet because the original one's kaboomed and then it comes back again. And the third one, until the end of time, we do go, go to the moon base and we go some other places and we come back to the planet we started on. Um, Last Hope, we jump to a few planets as well. Uh, integrity and Faithlessness, we do go into space. I'm not really sure we go to our planet. I can't remember, we do go into space. That was like the weak one, people didn't really enjoy that one. But I kind of understand it not featuring heavily because we were playing the underdeveloped race in that one. Divine Force, however, you can pick both and one does have more, more space involved than the other. But we still get to go. Right, where are these- where did these buggers go? Because you shot someone into the distance, didn't you? One went fucking flying! Wait, where was I looking at? Over here? Oh, it was over here. Because it's also the thing when it comes to Assassin's Creed, the little premise is you, you're going into memories to try and find something to stop something happening with modern day. And I'm not sure they'd want to go into their memories just to have some jollies and, the, you know, some ancient... Some ancient? Some past historical thing. Especially when they're they're trying to do it on the trying to do it while not being discovered by Abstergo. Like why would you be doing that for fun? You wouldn't be doing that for fun. You're doing it for a reason. And what's the reason? Probably the artifacts. Because they're all after the fucking artifacts for the modern day. But they're really lacking in their modern day stuff as well. Hey, so for me, like I follow these two stuff and all about Black Flag. After that, it's here so uh, muddled or so slow to go anywhere that my interest trails off. Then you made the whole Assassin vs. Templar drama pretty engaging, so I followed that more. You should turned into. Oh, yeah, there's a woman in the computer now. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel like after three, they didn't really know what the hell to do with it because you didn't have Desmond anymore. And he was the one who you were, so you had to have Abstergo and you had to have a black flag, the whole we're a computer company uh, being Abstergo, we're going to delve into memories for entertainment purposes under that guise, is they're going to create games or films or maybe like books based on these memories that people are going in when they're really looking for the, the 
pieces of Eden. They're looking for the artifacts, but under the guise of we're going to create entertainment from these memories. Um, but it's the... Is it not the bloody IT guy? But it was because in some way, not just Abstergo, they brought in another faction who wanted to bring back... Was it... Which one was it? Was it Juno? I can't remember. The one that was in the computer, they wanted to set free. And I kind of get that as well. And then that carried through that you weren't just against Templars, you were going against this other faction who was trying to bring back one of the Isu. And when I got to Syndicate, that was like the last in-game mention of this because they f <laughs> they fucking finished it in a comic um, with you, you taking them out. Um, was, I can't remember what they called themselves. And that's what they wanted the shroud for. I'm staring at the, yeah, we're literally just Ubisoft. What the hell were they called? Um, but the Assassin's Creed Syndicate also delved into other memories that weren't purely what Syndicate was. We had like World War set in as well so you were going you were in you know the world is in the kit in london and then you were jumping into other memories which were world war setting so there was a few things that were going on and they were quite interesting and it was it was different and then they just went fuck that we'll finish it um Oh, I can't remember what they were called. Because this is what also happened, right? I want to see why the fuck did we see nothing about Desmond's kid? I was like the goofy brother character was just total comic relief the whole time. Yeah, Evie and Jacob. Um, oh, what was it called? At least in the game. So again, you had the comics, you'd seen Desmond's good. Find the bloody Nope, not that. Demon's eyes Yeah. Did they not change the voice? At one point? He wasn't and he wasn't. Oh, that's what it was. Instruments of the First Will. That was the other faction that were trying to raise back Juno. And they never delved into that. Also known as the Juno Cult. 
That's what it was. The bloody IT dude was the sage reincarnated. <laughs> Accents just make everyone sound so much better. I forgot that. I was wondering, like, why was this person so, um, in Black Flag? Why were they so intent on bringing her back? It was her husband. Uh, probably about the cost of fortune to cast. Oost, and we're going Oostengrav? So yeah, there's there's a lot of things that I feel like they just missed out. They had so many things they could have followed up on. You know, were there any more sages? I'm th I actually think, was Desmond's son not supposed to be a sage? But the sages were reincarnations of... Maybe they didn't know it. Um, Juno's husband, were they not? Good or bad? I'm gonna bandit who's dead. I'm listening to you talk about AC for nearly an hour and I think you know less now than when it started. Um, I don't know. His name's Elijah. He's in the comics. I forgot about that because it's not... Who's the mother? It's not... Uh, what's her face? Because she's gone. Uh... Mm -mm. I mean, I don't know everything about Assassin's Creed. This is just like bits and pieces from throughout the games and my, my usual thoughts and rantings about certain things. Um, there's some that I haven't fully played, like, was it Freedom Cry and the Liberation, I think? Which I guess? Yeah, we're, yeah it wouldn't work. I, I was going to say Lucy, I was like, hmm, nope, it can't be. Elijah as a sage illegitimate son okay but who is your um, who's your mother who's your mother oh Okay, apparently it was after Desmond ran away from his assassin family. He met a woman who he unknowingly had a kid with. It was, uh, the mother was a one-time lover of Desmond, and the mother of his illegitimate child. That's it. But the connection to Syndicate, or at least the following on, is the what they mentioned being the um, the piece of Eden was um, oh the diamond. I have no idea how you pronounce it. The actual like diamond. I do remember between the age of 18 to 45 and a 30 mile radius of Manhattan then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
put it today. Skyrim just makes a horror. Being an idiotic drunk, getting mad at Lydia for being in your way and simping for a vampire. <laughs> Lydia, yeah, Lydia, Lydia's got the the that part down. Okay, let me quick save. After I ran away, didn't you basically live in bars for years? I think so. Yeah, he ran. So he ran away from his assassin family. Oh God! Oops. Apprentice Conjurer. Cool. I can kill you. Another one. But there's so many things. So, the diamond in question. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, was it the, the Koi Nur? I think is mentioned in Syndicate as well. It has the power to locate other pieces of Eden. Apparently the power is so immense it can only be wielded by like a god or a goddess type deal. Why have we not had a game with that then? That seems like the ultimate thing you would want in your game. GPS, yeah. Gave her a tail. Everything's dead. Like, was it just bandits and conjurers that fight each other to the death? Necromancers? This little trap. Blood to Brotherhood? I can't remember. Brotherhood. Was that the second one? Wait, am I missing? There's something in here. But I don't know how to access it. Oh, for all I know, it could be a quest, though. Might be missing a place to go, maybe? Something behind here? No. Why do you look like you would maybe move? You do look like you would move. Big old map, a hologram in the month. Uh, I'm gonna butcher that. Uh, villain in two and the start of Brotherhood. Like, pack your lunch boxes. Kids rough the room. Oh, yeah! They do have something, don't they? I may not actually be a way through. Why are you making me think there's things, game? Map shows there's other things, but I just don't have access to it. D 
darkest darkness. Yeah, I'll take that. Talos mistake. I shouldn't be able to figure out on account of that's where it was going anyway. <laughs> Well, we may or may not be coming back here at some point. I might be missing something. The map looks like there should be more, but I can see no access points. So a bit like Assassin, um, Assassin's Creed, Jesus. A bit like Fallout. I don't know if it required a quest. trying to go well I say I'm trying to go I'm trying to do a little bit of exploring because I feel like my focus on the thieves guild and starting the brotherhood is just it's taken a, a it's been put in the back burner So who did everyone kill when it came to the the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood? So you're, you go to sleep, you wake up in, in the abandoned shack with three people. You're asked to make a choice. Who's the one who should die? There's a woman who's a bit uppity. He's like, mm. There's a dude who's a hired mercenary. And you've got the dude who basically seemed like an asshole and that he would defile your daughter and that was what made me pick him I like your queen your okay Yeah, I think that's a, a focus on the the comics. Because by the brief thing that I've seen that's to do with Elijah, he's a sage, he was taken by his mother to Abstergo, they kind of took him in, and then he got involved with instruments of the First Will, which are the ones to try and bring back Juno. Um, But one of them... Again, it's a story of revenge. He got his revenge and basically betrayed them. Oh no. Mm, crystal ball. Um God, is it not something that has a bit of contention over it though? Like real life. Uh, it means mountain of light. Wait, well, I I feel like I've heard it mentioned before. It's a largest cut diamond in the world. It's on. Part of the crown jewels. Because... Uh, Colonialism. Uh, with different places demanding it be returned to India.
Anything else? Or is this just it? I think I may be it. Mr. Jam is probably among the least well informed people on the planet. I I just knew it was a it was a thing, but not like the the proper history around it or anything. Horrible looking, aren't they? You know what? I'm gonna fast travel. We're gonna fast travel. I'm gonna head towards Brotherhood stuff. I'm gonna pain watch. <laughs> I hate spiders. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I am the designated spider um, destroyer. <clears throat> Hoover works wonders, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just, I, I'm not allowed to leave them alive. Oh. I'll be right back. I'm with Dylan.
Ervac. Sorry about that. I just try and deal with fucking delivery. Ah, oh, uh... oh my god, Jesus. Right, once I started Hogwarts Legacy and remember there's a big fucking spiders. Oh really? In that? I answer you. <laughs> Wait, but Nocron, Elden Ring, 20 giant ants hanging in the ceiling. So I can put them on fire just to make sure they don't come crawling out. I can't remember the drowning in your Coca Cola cans, but. As vision tackle stuck in the trees, while I move tree ants to walk across the fish line into the bow. <laughs> Spiders have never said an unkind word to you. No, I had I have to be a spider killer because um people who've been scarred with uh, asshole parents who decided it'd be fun to put them in their bed. Whereas I have no reason to be, be, have any issues with moths, but I fucking hate them. I think it's that they're that furry. But also, they move like they don't have a fucking clue what they're doing! Hey, coke cans, very simple. House built, and then there's coke sitting open on the table for a few hours. I remember coke exists. Disaster. Wait, you have to have a, like a cover? Uh, oh, what part is it though? What can see me? Who can see me? Where can see me? You haven't got anything. Who's? Who can see me? Who can see me? This is why I like vats. You can't see me. You can see me. Spiders in the bed. Oh, yeah. It's one of these, why Why would anyone who's in a position to look after a kid want to do shit like that? So that's why I'm the, the spider killer. Detected. But who's detecting me? Why can't this game have bats? Oh, wait, Redguard. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. I recognize your voice. You should talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Back off, no. I don't have to take that from you. Why did you remind me of um Kind of reminds me of Balthier. Hmm. Probably isn't. I wish better only babies. I am across to be considered remarkable. 
the biggest I've seen here. Is maybe bordering on the two inch mark and for some reason only ever on walls that are around a window frame and my parents when I was still living there um, there was a a clock she had the the window in the living room I had two windows um, and you had like the surround bit of the wall and on the left side it was a clock and we're sitting there and it's like didn't see it and then suddenly this huge fucker crawls out from like near it so I'm like no I'm out of here I'm not dealing with this <laughs> so I think my dad tries to my dad tries to catch them he tries to like he tries to let them free it's mostly the legs, the big legs. Maybe, maybe not. But maybe, because he's been in Fallout 76. Do we have a Skyrim? Can we get a Skyrim? Oops. Skyrim. Uh, he has been in this game. Might be him. Did you revive the fucking Serana's elk? What the hell? It's just running about like an idiot. Uh, always been everyone watching for an inevitable large bugger running across the living room floor. In recent years, there's more of them. Yeah, it's that that time where they're like, we're going to go inside when the weather changes. Like, no, stay away. This is not your home. Fuck off back outside. How dare you invade? <laughs> or recommend cats for insect deterrent? Okay, so I was I was um Peacemaker. She I was at hers she was in her parents. There was a spider in the hallway. And we thought cat. I had cats at the time. So we picked up the cat. Kind of gently, you know, tossed it towards the spider. <laughs> and it fucking lay on it. And it didn't even kill it. So I had to get a shoe. Yeah. I'm not sure it knew it was there though. Oh, yours go nuts for them? No, it was the middle of the night though. Well, maybe not in the night. It was, it was later on in the day. Maybe they were tired. Who knows? Oh, you killed them. I thought I was going to be able to shoot them. I keep forgetting to use my sneak. Does that set this off? No, it doesn't. What are you doing? Just go. Stop trying to push me off. What the hell, dude? Yeah, microscopic fruit flies will just be transfixed. 
How did you... Where did you kill it? Where did it go? I think your body's down the side. even get set off. I love the got motion detection going on. Uh, at least I assume that's what we're looking at. I heard that or my apartment is haunted. We got Falkreath? Oh, do I want to clear up some things though? On the way. Oh, there's a few things. What's over here? I could find somewhere that I can maybe turn out the werewolf and clear out. As long as Serana stops. Bringing them back to life. The only way I can get them to work in that way is by killing them and promptly trying to eat them. Terror. Speak to me, lady. Speak to me, lady. Remember, Hunter. No, come back. What are you doing? An ancient vampire? Oh god, I'm gonna shoot you instead, aren't I? <laughs> Fucking Benny Hell music playing. Yielding. I can't shoot you in case you shoot them. Oh, did you get killed? Oh no, the vampire hunter! Oh shit, was me getting involved in this. You killed the vampire hunter. Necklace of eminent deft hands. Uh, absolute favourite though is like the flies. Uh, with the common size legs that sit in the same spot on the wall for two weeks. Oh, like the daddy long legs type. Where'd, there was one, someone, were you here? Did you die here? What happened? Where'd you go? Game! Where are they? Did the, the vampire not kill them? Was it here? Oh no! Oh well. <clears throat> Oh, 
that happened. She she is gone. She maybe would have killed a vampire had I not intervened. Uh, the body is like normal insight portions, but legs make them look enormous. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, now I don't know what to do. Damn it. Oh well. Well, you you done your vigilant vampire hunting to its fullest and you died for it. it wasn't anything to do with me. Uh, let's go and have a look at this place we discovered then. <laughs> This place that only has a chest and some thistle and mountain flower. Not much else going on here then. We're getting closer to where it needs to be. Got a couple of those over there though. Let's go have a look. <laughs> Missile and that one. Well, maybe it isn't the right place to go. Well, actually, yeah, let's go have a look. Is there not one of the things for a Daedric Artifact in one of these areas? <laughs> Nettle and Grossel. <laughs> um, how do I even access this place? Huh. Thanks for nothing, game? This tells me nothing. Try going around. Because there's, there's definitely usually a way up. My followers can go up as well. I just don't know where it is. I might have found something. It would help. This could work. Ooh, food arrived. Nice. Enjoy. And thank you for watching. Okay, maybe maybe we have found a way. Let's make way across these little. Uh, maybe this way. Please, please work. I've lost Serana somewhere. I don't know where she went. Oh, that was a miss. I shot my first one over here and I completely missed him. Oh man. Or her. Or maybe I didn't.
So frequent bastion. Where'd you come from? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, I can search. I love that the is like, where'd you come from? We can clearly see where he's came from. It was very apparent where he came from, Serana. <laughs> I killed it so hard, physics broke. I <laughs> he came out his little coffiny entity. I put him back in there. Shame the lid didn't close at the same time. Ah, uh, just our go. Oh, that's yours. Serana, will you please stop reviving everything? Like, the elk was useless. You revived it and it ran away! <laughs> you know what I'm kind of surprised about when it came to like Fallout? That there wasn't a bow option that I know of. That you got your your alien guns, your I should say the alien guns. There's not one. I might have been following you three. You got your gamma guns. You got your, but it, it wouldn't really fit in with it. But there is there is you know uh, well it's probably rotten deadwood, isn't it? But there's still trees that I scrap every single freaking time that I'm in a settlement. Frequent Bastion. I kind of wouldn't work so for ranged, would it? I should be a sneak archer and follow it. From planks to ballistics, yeah. Hmm. They wouldn't planks. Oh, that was you dying again. Cool. Oh no, there's going to be spiders in here. Maybe, or maybe not. A slingshot? That would be pretty cool though. Because you could use something like that as a... Oh, they, they probably couldn't, I mean it's not really a sneak game. We could use that to divert attention away from areas. Like they follow the noise, they follow where that it's been where you've hit the uh the slingshot against. <laughs> Conan made it this far. 
Oh, there's blood. There's a lot of blood. There's torture. Oh! I didn't even see there. Vampires? I just shot past you. A ruby? Were you sitting on the throne? You were sitting on the throne. Cages. Blood and torture devices. Curious what? Jazargo, please. Please, back off, back off, back off. Come on, Jazargo. What's this do? Oh, shit. Whoops. I've got to try them though, haven't we? There's there's a switch, we need to try things. So we went downstairs. There was an upstairs. Your skeletons. They almost have, as well as their squeaking noise, it's almost like they have a purring noise. <clears throat> that might be the wind. Sneak increased. Okay, we can't get down there from here. There's an upstairs. Maybe that was the other way. had a complete brain fart. Why is it so dark in here? As to if the skeletons like reanimated themselves? I'm forgetting that's like a Dark Souls the Elden Ring thing. damage from
from there. Is this going to shoot through? I don't think it will. Oh fuck, I thought we were going to move to the side a bit more. Rana's not here though. So we don't get through that way now. Not yet, anyway. A coffin. Steel armor. Oh, another coffin with gauntlets. A helm? I don't know which ones I need. to work. I have no idea where Serana is. Again? 
Boots, pleated boots. More boots. Wait, why is there all the boots here? Shoes for land. Ragged. Boots. Iron boots. Normal boots. Fine boots. Empty coffin. Do you normally get to search coffins in this? Why am I hearing Strana? Oh, we're back in this place. She like never made it through somehow. Really? Just a skewer. I can see. I ring a pool over on the left. There's someone else in here. Was that Jazargo? Coughing away to himself. Oh, this is downstairs from there. This woods. Right, okay. Okay. Cool. You good or bad? Oh, bad. Bad, definitely bad. Oh, 
Oh, they have fakes freezing. Got a door there. I don't leave though. A bucket. <gasps> Hi. Oh, does someone have a bit of gold here? Not well, right now. I think maybe they've had some rituals in this area. It's the vampire sport group. Wait, this opens the sky room? Where about? It went all the way down. Let's move faster. The sun is... That's not great for my skin. Oh, I'm on the other side. Okay. How about I fast travel to the other side and go upstairs? Also, where did Serana go? Oh, there she is. <clears throat> it's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. There was another place I could go. Everything here should be gone. Curiosity is getting better than me. There was a downstairs and there was an upstairs. Oh, I will be right back with Dylan.
Sorry about that. Ah, so upstairs from here. I might have to go in like 10 ish minutes, maybe. We'll see how far we get. Um, okay, we've got lights that don't really do much for it, but. Who's, who's replenishing the candles? Just the skeletons doing it randomly, and you feel like it. Was this the upstairs part? Hear anything else? Something through there. So we've been all the way at the bottom. I'm glad I decided to come back in and have a look this way. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is Jazargo in that still here? Where's Jazargo? What are we doing, mister? What are we doing? Oh, come on game, I can't lose him because he can actually die. So if I can't keep track of him, I'm gonna have problems. Major, major problems. Did he come in when I came in? Nope, oh, I took a wrong turn. What are you doing? Oh, you're numpty. You're trying to worry me. But yes, Jargo can can die because he's not tied to any quest now. Where Serana just, you know, takes the beating. If I accidentally hit her or shoot her or set her on fire. <laughs> she hasn't turned on me yet. Idiots. Huh? Oh, Volkyar, I'm like a vampire. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no, wait, what? How are you getting me through the fucking wall? Oh, your spells and it. Oh, so many potions. What the hell? Oh, this did not work.
Should really slow at least, shouldn't I? Oh, speech! Didn't realize there was going to be a speech book there. Oh man. Alright, have we got anything special here? Him being named, I'm a bit... Mm. Oh no, what have I done? Coffins are empty. Screw it, I'll take it. It came as far as might as well. <laughs> All the empty coffins. Why are there no bodies in them? Did Jazaro go make it? Oh, he did. He did. I was going to make sure he's safe. Battle Elemental Fury. Do we over there? What happens if I do these? Anything else? No. No more platforms. Nothing changed. Unless it maybe kicked in the uh, the dude opening kind of sarcophagus stuff. What in the hell? Why? Gonna do shit here. Oh no. Is this where this fast travel from? Has to be. You know what? We'll leave it here then. Because this can be our, our starting point tomorrow. We'll go with that one. Alright. I gotta go. Um, I will be on tomorrow with this again at roughly the same time as today. You can like alternating afternoons and the evenings between different games. I yeah, so thank everyone for watching. It's always appreciated. Um, but yeah, more Skyrim tomorrow. And for those after Fallout 4, I'll be back on the Thursday in the, the later time slot. Thank you again, I hope you're all doing well and I might see something in soon. Thank you all and have a good rest of your day.